Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. I've had quite a few requests for wedding cards lately so I thought I would do one for you today. I'm using smooth white cardstock, I've got a blurry scripty stencil, Victorian velvet distress oxide, this multi-flower dye, this branchy dye and a love sentiment with its shadow. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some light stenciling to my stitched rectangle panel. I popped it on a grip mat to hold it relatively still and I'm going to add the stenciling obviously through this stencil. I don't want it to be too heavy so I'm just going to go in lightly and stencil down the left hand side from top to bottom. Now just lift that off because my plan is to pop this die cut on here like that and I just want the stenciling to peek out behind it a little. I'll just widen it slightly I think. That'll do. And this is a scrap bit of card that I'm going to colour with Victorian Velvet, the same ink that I put through the stencil. But this time I'm going in much stronger because I want the die cuts that I'm going to cut from this to stand out. So if you want to make monochromatic cards, cards that just have maybe white and one other colour on them, you can get variations simply by using different strengths of that one colour. So you can go for light, some medium and some, I guess, stronger, more intense, more saturated colour to get that variation and interest. I'm going to run these two dies together through my die cutting machine. So I'll just tape them together so they don't slip around. To bring in a bit of sparkle and shine and a little bit of variation on these rather flat die cuts, I'm just going to brush over them lightly with some gilding wax. I'll just catch different areas of the leaves and the stem. I do need to cut the shadow part of the sentiment out, so I'm just doing that again out of a scrap of smooth white cardstock. Just added a little bit of glue to the back of this die cut and I'll add that now onto the shadow. I want to construct just a couple of double layer flowers for this card. So I'm going to use another scrap of smooth white cardstock and cut out these flowers. I want to give these a subtle hint of pink. So I'll just run around the outside with whatever Victorian Velvet is left on my brush. And now I'm going to put the small flower on top of the large flowers. To give my flowers a little bit of dimension, I'm going to press down on the centres with this embossing tool and that forces the petals to move upwards, to curve upwards. And now I can start to assemble my card. My card blank is smooth white cardstock, four by six ish inches. I'm using tape runner to adhere my panel to the front. And I'm going to trim this down slightly because these rectangle dies that I use to cut out the panel are actually sized for American cards, I think, not UK cards. So that's ready now. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of the leaves, just dot it here and there, a bit on the stem as well. So we add that over to the left hand side, over that stenciling, and press it down with a bit of non-stick paper. And that gives us lots of lovely empty white space over here that gives everything a chance to breathe. And now I'm going to add my flowers. I'll just put some glue in the centre. Often when I'm doing something like this, I would 
put uh, three flowers because I like that rule of thirds. But as this is a kind of wedding card, I'm only putting two to kind of represent two people, two flowers blooming on the same branch. So we'll leave those there to set or dry. And now I've got the love sentiment. Put some glue on the back and pop that, I think, down here so that we've got some of the leaves and things poking out from behind. I will cut a couple of slivers of cardstock just to slip behind the ends of that sentiment piece because it's lifted up slightly it's going over the branch so I think it needs a bit of support at either end. I want to give my flowers a centre each and I'm toying with the idea of die cutting out a couple of circles from this card that I'm colouring with the gilding wax. So I think we'd probably want the second biggest circles, not the biggest, biggest circles. So if I pop that there, I should get some and I'll run that through my cuttle bug because this dies too big to go through my Gemini Mini. So there we have a selection of circles. I'm just going to see if my theory was right. Might even be too big. The second size down. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, yeah, I think that'll do. That's the third biggest one. We go with those. You could always use enamel dots for these or you could use Nouveau drops. So we dip that in glue, stick that in and to give these little circles a bit of dimension I'm going to add some glossy accents. It does come out a bit cloudy but it will dry clear and you'll be able to see that gilding wax through it. So there you go, a wedding or just a simple love card do let me know if you would like to see more wedding cards from me because I'm more than happy to uh, go through my stash and see what I can adapt to a wedding theme. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.